even if you're not on drugs and you can't and you you're trying to get your head down you're trying to sleep through the night and you can't you're cold and one of your friends will come past and just say take this this will help you sleep and before they know it they're addicted to drugs they want that same they want that same tablet or whatever it is spice or monkey dust the next night so they can sleep again it, it blocks everything away the worries everything away even if even if it's for only a short time whatever worries and problems they have in the life it takes it away when we start to talk to people it's unbelievable that they don't talk to anybody for days and days on end so we do say to them when we've met them and introduced them we say i can't guarantee i remember your name but please come up to us next time you come to hand me. It's good just to listen, because when they've talked to nobody, they need to talk. They're just waiting then for the next fix. We've seen them where they've been out of it for an hour, completely out of it for an hour. They've come round and then within 20 minutes, they've gone and had another dose somewhere else because they can buy it on the street. So they can, they can uh, just have another dose and, and that's what they do and their lives are made up of getting money for fixes all the time. I'm the, the city centre team leader for daytime ministry of the street chaplains. Well, I was asked to come on board uh, after being uh, a, a chaplain at Longton Police Station. Uh, working with the police and with the city council and uh, then they asked me to come into Hanley because we were having a lot of trouble here on the streets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you see what I mean over by the bank over there oh, in the yeah, doorway? Yeah. That's what they do. They come out and they stay there. <clears throat> it's all, uh, only the, the night cl uh, club people who do see them, you see, and they they, give, they feel obligated to give them some money, so that's... I think they do it though because they want to as well. They can make a hundred, two hundred pound a night. We found that if a lot of this monkey dust and uh, mamba has been going around and people go flat out or they go, they go like stiff like a zombie and the only way really to deal with it is to sit them in a recovery position somehow the best you can and then just sit with them, stay with them for 20 minutes, half an hour and they slowly come round. So we don't need ambulances, we don't need special care for them. It's just, that's what you do. It's part of the condition and you know full well that they're going to they're going to either seriously injure themselves shortly, one way or another, get into a fight or somebody else will injure them, or they'll just die. And many of them just die on the streets or die in back alleys. So what do you do? I don't know. I don't know what we do. I don't know what the answer is either. I don't think anybody else does. We've had a time when there was a, 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 a large batch of mamba came into the town and the people were dropping like flies. It's just survival for them. It's just survival. They just... They'll come and talk to you when, when they're taking the drugs. They don't want to know they're out, unconscious most of the time. But when they, they haven't had the drugs, they're willing to talk. They'll tell you the problems. And if you can help, direct them. And no disrespect, probably me, because I've, I've been on the streets. And show them the way as much as I can do. We do it uh, because we, we just feel a compassion for people to help and to be uh, assistance and to feel as though we're putting something into society. On a Saturday morning, we open from eight o'clock to half ten. We give them toast, biscuits, cake, cups of tea, coffee, because they don't, those on the street, they don't want a lot. They don't want food, basically. They don't want big meals first thing. They just want to get warmed up. And then they do what they have to do, they get back on the streets. And some of them go from town to town. They move out of Hanley for so long and then they go to somewhere else and then come back again. But she's got accommodation, she's got accommodation, but she comes out on Saturday night. We get to know them, we get to know them quite well. You don't know at first what's the matter with a person. 
At night time, of course, we're picking up plumbers who've fallen down. Uh, they're down on the floor, they're spewing their hearts up, they're doing what, enjoying themselves in a lovely spewing way. Street Chaplains is a bit of a giveaway in the title that we, we give pastoral care to the city centre. That's the whole idea of it, to care for the people regardless of who they are. And if there's a need, uh, they can call upon us and they know, and got, people have got to know that they can get help. So, so that's what we do.